inventions of the 40s. 1946, the bikini blows away modesty thanks to a French engineer who'd rather work with bodies than buildings. 1943, Silly Putty stretches the imagination of a scientist who'd been trying to invent synthetic rubber. And 1946, Tupperware makes homemakers want to throw a party, thanks to inventor and marketing whiz, Earl Tupper. Tupperware keeps aroma and flavor locked in. If house cats could turn the competition on its head and give a prize to their favorite human, it might just be the American inventor who revolutionized the way felines do business. has just ended, and Ed Lowe has recently returned home from service. A Navy man full of ideas in search of the American dream. But he's broke, and in small town Michigan, reality hits hard. When the war was over, Ed Lowe hitchhiked home, and he went to work for his father, and he went home to a wife and small child, so he had responsibility knocking on his door. His dad's business, selling sand and sawdust, products that soak up chemical spills in factories. He went and um, worked for his father's delivery business and tried to expand that business. Uh, his father had a tavern in Vandalia, and so he wanted really Ed to take over the delivery business, which Ed did very successfully. He expanded the client base, and he also expanded the product lines that they were delivering. But it's a tough living, and Ed doesn't want to be poor forever. He was always looking for another product, always looking for something to do, because he was trying to, to bump up his father's business. Ed dreams of capturing new markets with a super-absorbent clay called Fuller's Earth. But nobody's interested in his ideas. By January 1947, he's a frustrated man. His neighbor is having a hard time, too. Kay Draper is trying to dig enough sand so her cat can stay inside on a cold winter's night. But the ground's frozen solid. Ed, hi! She asks Ed if he's got any sawdust. And she was very persistent, saying, well, you must have something here that I could use for my cat box. In the 40s, cats are the underdogs of house pets. Fido rules, because dogs can be trained to go outside when nature calls. And there's the odor problem. Cats produce highly concentrated, undiluted waste because they've evolved from desert creatures that have to conserve water. So the feline of the 40s spends its nights out in the cold. The day Kay comes calling, Ed is trying to find a market for all that Fuller's Earth in his garage. Kay says she'll try anything. basement, Caesar investigates the new substance and gets right down to business. The first deposit in a billion dollar industry. Turns out Fuller's Earth is a geological wonder. It was formed more than 200 million years ago. Volcanic ash was buried and compressed under seawater and silt, so its chemical composition changed. The result? Extremely fine particles, each packing an electrical charge that attracts and binds other molecules, making Fuller's Earth super absorbent. Fuller's Earth clay, because of its absorbency, allowed the, the uh, 
the urine from a cat to be absorbed, which reduced the development of bacteria, and therefore there wasn't the, uh, the obnoxious odors. Ed, can you help us out? Kay is so thrilled with Ed's product, she's back the next day for more. And she's brought friends. Ed's become the most popular guy on the block. Well, this was Ed's eureka moment, knowing he had a product that he could provide a use for that no one else had done. Ed knows his product works. Now he's got to sell it. He packs five-pound bags of Fuller's Earth, comes up with a snappy brand name, and hits the road to flog kitty litter at cat shows and pet stores. He actually toured the entire United States with this product in his car with a trailer behind it, going door to door. The response is often skeptical, sometimes downright catty. People laughed at him because of just the nature of the product. It was like, really? That's really what you do? But everyone who tries kitty litter comes back for more. So Ed, the entrepreneur, takes a leap and buys a Fuller's Earth processing plant. Soon, he's exporting kitty litter all around the world. Consumers were knocking on the door for this product because it deodorized, it was efficient, and now their cats could be inside. Hi, I'm Ed Lowell. Since I invented Cat Box Filler in 1947, I've been improving it ever since. Today, the cat box filler industry is a billion dollars in global sales. Ed Lowe is responsible for bringing the cat out of the cold and inside our households with the use of Fuller's Earth as a cat box filler. And Ed Lowe, the rags to riches inventor, becomes wealthier than he'd ever dreamed possible. Other brainwaves of the 1940s. 19...